In this video, we'll be looking at supplied evaluation in SAP S4HANA. Firstly, we'll be touching on how you set up purchasing categories and what it's used for. Then the important weights and scoring that is used in the process. Then the apps doing the actual evaluation. We'll be looking at ordered versus delivery quantities, on-time delivery, purchase order prices versus your invoice prices, and then lastly, the overall evaluation, which incorporates the quantity, on time, and your pricing. Let's look at some of the apps that we're going to use for supply evaluation. Firstly, we'll be looking at the purchasing categories, then the weights and scoring, then the actual quantities, time, and price evaluation, and overall uh, performance evaluation. Let's start off with purchasing categories. So why do we need purchasing categories. This functionality is included and it helps you to manage your suppliers, uh, the spend for suppliers in certain material groups. Um, it basically gives you a handle on, on your spend for certain areas. So you will see that in this app there's already a number of categories available. Um, let's play with it. I just want to show you, give an example of what you can look at, I just want to add in the settings, um, I want to add the spend over the last 12 months, the field, and that helps, helps you to, to check what's going on in terms of spend, and you will see the spend is actually listed in this column. Just want to sort. So let's look at this one as an example. There's the description, the details, and the overall spend for that category. So within this category, you'll see this general information. Um, it's for this specific supplier. And then the material group is a trading material group that was added. There's the total spent in 12 months. And you can actually compare this then to the plan spent that was set up by the creator of this group. So let's create um, a new group. So you just click on create. Firstly, you need a, a name, a group name. Call it demo 3. You link it to a responsible purchaser. I'm going to select Parker Purchaser. Um, let's add a supplier to our group. In this case, I want to look at suppliers with the name VF. And then I'm going to select this one. And OK. You can then add team members, employees to your group to manage it. You can add plan spend numbers. You can add attachments that will help you to, to keep track. Um, you can look at certain languages that you want for translation purposes. And then in material groups, I want to add a specific one called Z breaks. We select it, we include, and we save. If you go back one screen and you just run it again, You'll see the demo 3 is included, um, there's the details, and then here's the spend thus far for this group that we just created. So it's dynamic, you can set up the groups to, to, keep, to keep an eye on things. Um, again, if you click on it, there's your details, the general info, the supplier and material groups. Okay, let's look at supplier evaluation, weighting and scoring. We go into this app, you will see that there's a number of criteria that were set up already um, within the config side of SAP. Um, then there is a, a weight factor that's maintained in config. Then you have the option to set up um, the criteria and weights uh, by purchasing category. There's some examples here. So let's let's do that for the one we just created. We're going to look at demo three. So we select our category, and you will see that um, you have to add it by clicking on the plus sign, and this gives you the option to to use some of the existing setup criteria and weights. Let's select demo three, and for this category, we're only going to look at. Um, quantity, time, and price. And then we're going to say, listen, I want to set up um, equal percentages. Um, you can play with these numbers and, and change the percentages. 
Then let's change it to 25, 25 and 50. Right, so that's your, that's your weights on a high level. If you click then on the quantity time or price options here, you will see this is also set up in the, the configuration part of, of S4HANA. Um, there's the, the variance percentage that is measured for quantities. In other words, if the supplier delivers uh, everything you should, this is 0% variance, then the score will be 100 for that purchase order item. So SAP will calculate the variance based on the quantity delivered and then um, give a variance score that you will use later on uh, when we monitor and check the, the actual performance of suppliers. You can do the same for time. If he's on time, there's a hundred percent. If he is late or early, the, 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 the scores will, will adjust accordingly. And the same for pricing, you can set up these percentages and there will be a score. Okay, let's look at the actual supplier evaluation. Firstly, um, by quantity, let's open the app. So SAP will give you a breakdown of the inferiority um, of your performance of your suppliers. And you can select what you want to look at. Let's look at purchasing category, which is the one we, we just set up. And you will see um, here's a breakdown of your purchasing categories. We created demo three. So that is then demo three that we can look at. Um, on the right hand side, there's the legend uh, for variance score, variant percentage, and so on. So you can actually look at the numbers. There are other options. To, to look at the numbers of your performance um, from a zero to, to 100 or a zero to minus 100. You can do it by supplier, so you change your filter and then it will be a breakdown by supplier. Um, let's select the tabular view, which gives you a bit more of a detailed breakdown in terms of numbers. Um, before we go through the, the fields there, you can also look at the filters here. This is done in Hero, um, previous year to date, for this specific plant. And again, you can click on Adapt Filters to, to look at the various fields. In this case, you will see that there's the supplier name and number, and then the calendar year. So you'll see for for instance, for this domestic supplier, there's the number. It's the same number for both rows, but it's different calendar years. So you can track the, the variances and the scores by calendar year. So in 2023, this supplier scored 100 um, thus far. And the previous year, the score was 95.58. Um, specifically related to quantities, there's a variance of minus 2.31 number of purchasing document items 26 and number of purchasing docs 25. If you click on the row there's more drill down options so you can actually go and look at your purchase orders to see what the scores were by purchasing purchase order. There's the purchase order document item, there's the actual order quantity, good receipt quantity and the score. Um, in some cases you'll see that where there's a variance um, the score will be lower. For instance uh, if you look at this order number there was 10 pieces ordered, 9 was delivered. There's a variance of minus 10 percent and the score is 65. If you go down for some more examples You'll see the scores here are 100 mostly for this supplier. Let's look for another example where the performance was not that good. Um, let's look at this specific one. We go to documents and again you will see here yeah, the ordered quantity was 20. You receive 10. There's a variance of 50% and the score is 70. So that helps you to actually monitor the quantity variances. So let's move on to 
um, supplied evaluation by time, which is this one. Again, you have the options to, to look at it by purchasing category or purchasing group or supplier. In this case, we're going to stick with supplier. Again, you've got a graphical view here with the, the legends and explanations there. If you look at the tabular view, you'll see that the, there's different fields here. It's by delivery date. There's a time variance um, and then the score for delivery dates actually. And again, number of POs, number of PO items. And again, you can drill down into the detail by plant, by document and so on. Let's go back and let's look at by price. You have the option here to refresh the, the actual score. Do you have the most recent up-to-date score? Um, let's go into the details here and you will see there's the number of purchase orders, purchase order items, and then the variances um, by for pricing. And again, you can drill down and see how I look at the scores and drill down again to the detail should you wish to do that. Then there's a, a supplied evaluation overall score for these categories. Again, you'll see the number of criteria actually increased here. It's a combination of all the criteria that was set up. And if you click on the detail, you will see that there's your calendar year supplier and then number of purchasing docs items. There's your time variance, price variance, quantity variance, and then the other criteria that was set up, inspection load score and so on. There's the summary, the operational score overall, and you can track some of the supplies that you want to look at. And again, go into the detail and see um, what happened on an item level and then take it from there. Okay, so there's a, a quick summary of um, how s 4 HANA and s and Fiori handles supply evaluation. If you like my video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more s 4 HANA content.